apple and cinnamon crumble cake with coconut ice cream. Apple and cinnamon, you know, two flavours that go very well together. I'm fond of a crumble, as long as it's not got too much cinnamon in there. One would like to be able to breathe by the end of it. Joe starts the crumble bit by mixing flour, butter and sugar. When you're making crumble, it's, it's, getting, it's a messy job. And you're the man to do it, Joe. He then prepares the cake bit, and a few of his guests have turned up to help. Sarah, tell me what it is that you do at Glastonbury. I am the dragon keeper. Oh, are you the actual dragon? Now, girls, have a good time, or you're going to end up in the bowl. Sarah, please, this is my cake. Do not ruin it for me. <laughs> I think Joe's cracking up here. Definitely Sarah. Her hair's orange. Jade, you're going in. Keep it clean. Eggs in. He adds more flour, followed by the cinnamon. Then it's on to the apples. All these beautiful colours of the Caribbean. It's shining through. That looks like the sun there. Then it's just a case of layering up the cake, crumble and grated apple in order to get... ..the taste of the Caribbean. Whew. Now, coconut ice cream I'm very fond of, so I hope he's made his own. He certainly is making his own by mixing together tins of condensed coconut and evaporated milks. Make sure I get that all right. Just going to put a little teaspoon of nutmeg. That's all that's needed. And a drop of coconut essence. Hopefully my guests will appreciate this. It's, it's been cooked with a lot of love and passion and it just reminds me of back when I was a kid. Little bit concerned that we've got coconut again in the dessert and the starter. Would have been nice to see perhaps a different taste there. Speaking of taste, how is it? Oh, that is good. Great! Pop it into freeze then. So the food is prepped, and now I'm just going to get my tropical threads on. Party hardy. Terrific! Off you trot. Caribbean holiday dress code, that's perfect for me. I have a banging outfit ready. I certainly won't be wearing shorts, sandals, anything like that. God knows, much too much flesh on display. Time to restart the Caribbean feast. That's coming out really nicely. They're like that. Fingers crossed. The cake hits the plates and there we have it. Apple and cinnamon crumble cake with coconut ice cream. Ooh. Enjoy. Thank Homemade. You. The ice cream's delicious. Thank you very much. I'm really pleased. It was homemade ice cream. Really great. Um, the cake, nice and light. I've got to say, I'm really loving it. The homemade ice cream is perfect. Not too much coconut. I was worried about cinnamon, because I don't like cinnamon. Yeah, I really, really like it, actually. Oh, excellent. And it's a lot of effort. Like, this is... You've proper made this, do you know what I mean? So, well done. Thank you. Thank you very much. So, you didn't make it with an ice cream maker? No. Just made it with my own fair hands. Fair play to you, Jeff. Just to be a little pedantic. No, no, why change a habit of a lifetime? <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't have any cream in it. Because it's got condensed milk, evaporated milk, and coconut milk. Yeah, and your point is? I quite like coconut ice cream, and I make it, and I use cream. I would have used cream, I would have used eggs. So it tastes different? But, but you at it, and not the cake. It's oh. the first time at the table that I've actually commented on the ingredients in a dish. Yeah. And all of you are jumping down my throat. Ice cream traditionally is made with <clears throat> cream. Is making it with cream and eggs more superior? It's traditional. And it's also traditional to be polite. Oh, home time. Unfortunately, I made the faux pas of actually commenting on the food, which I haven't done until tonight at the table. We were having such a wonderful time. There was a lovely atmosphere, and then it all came crashing down. Yeah, I just felt a bit upset for Joe tonight. He put a lot of effort in. Uh, Sarah at the ice cream. She didn't eat the cake, yet complained about the ice cream, which seemed very strange to me. I'm sorry, Joe, if that offended you, but I was just genuinely surprised because it actually tasted nice. Obviously, um, it's never up to Sarah's standard, but nothing seems to be this week, so all good. I have no idea why Sarah questioned what it was made out of. It tasted like ice cream. It was ice cream. Um, what difference does it make? Overall, I would score myself an 8, 8.5. <laughs> Let's have the real scores. Really tasty, really enjoyed it. I'm going to give Joe an 8.
He put a lot of effort into it, a lot of time and a lot of soul. So I give Joe a seven. Tonight, I will be awarding Joe an eight. I'm giving Joe a six. All of which gives Joe a tropical one-way ticket to second place with 29 points. Tally ho! Next time... All aboard the dessert train. Let's go. Culinary Glass Wars. I am a great fan of poutine. Scallop mayo, mint sauce, all the salads on that. No, it's not quite what you think, yeah? No. Well, that woman is a philistine. And painful punchlines. I put my heart and soul into it for you. Oh, we're having not... awful. You know, Sarah's the kind of person that lights up a room when she leaves. <laughs>